Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another beautiful day with us on Live with Lloyd. I am your host, Astro Numerologist Lloyd Strayhorn. And do I have a banging show this evening with a banging set of guests who will be in attendance on this uh, Saturday as well as Sunday. Um, there's a couple of them that will be on here in just a moment. Um, before I do that, though, let me get this off the screen. Let me see. Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a wide range of people on in just a moment because there's a big event that's coming up this coming weekend. But before I do that, I got to let you know that the show is sponsored by my buddy King Simon for Saturday, King Simon for Sunday. Then the show is also sponsored by Jazz Aphrodite, who is having a master numerology class, and she is a master numerologist. She is really superb. Uh, she will be on my show Monday because her book is out, and I will have my books in my possession by the time we do her show on Monday. Also, uh, uh, Miss Kimberly manifests on purpose. It's about the subconscious mind and things like that. It's, it's a great thing. Uh, she sponsors my show. I sponsor her show as a result. So when you hear you, me say the God in me loves the God in you, I picked up that line and I gave up full credit. But before we bring on the guests, the forecast for today, it is Wednesday, April the 10th. Of, um, the sun is in Aries. The moon is now in the fixed sign of Taurus. It is still Mercury retrograde until the 23rd, 24th, although there's going to be a residual. It's a three universal month, a five universal week, a four universal day. So for those who happen to be Aquarians, Leos, and Geminis, for those that are born on the 1st, 4th, 10th, 13th, 19th, 22nd, 28th, and 31st of the month, this should be an interesting day. All right. Now, I tell you, I'm going to tell you who is up. I see the beautiful Mama Ella, uh, the beautiful Shakira Moore. You ladies look so good. God bless you. Um, my brother Hank, you know, I know what that brother looks like. We've been knowing each other forever. King Simon, and of course, the most beautiful lady Leo in the house is uh, Kafunya. Um, everybody, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm laughing at this buddy right here. Uh, <laughs> King Simon, hold up, let me see. Let me add, I gotta add everybody to the stage. Uncle Hanky. <laughs> oh, sh oh, S H I T. Yo, Lloyd, you're the first one, family. You're the first one. This is a breakthrough tea formula. King Caliba and Blue Lotus. Oh, come on now. This is a, a regenerated and a psychic activator. You're going to bring that on uh, the weekend? Oh, hell yeah. I mean, good. heaven, yeah. Very good. Very good. <laughs> it just made my 35 pound kettlebell feel like 10 pounds. Very good. Wow. I'm going to start with the lady who actually started this legacy series there at Nicholas Brook, and she is to the top left. That is Kafunya, Queen Kafunya. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, um, I'm, I'm just, you know, happiness, you know, when you're in a happy vibration, a happy frequency, a lot of gifts start coming to you. A lot of things start happening when you up your frequency. And when this time of the eclipse and the celestial heavens and everything, it's just like, I'm, I'm like a, a, a lady in a, a candy store, you know, having so much fun. And I have fun doing what I'm doing and myself and uh, Monique, you know, we come together and we, we bring the spiritual legacy because the spiritual legacy is about honoring our living, walking ancestors in the material world now. Well, it makes sense. And you just came from Africa too. I know you feel in it, no question. Lord of his mercy. I was just, let me, I don't want to start yapping because everybody. <laughs> what I want to do is now go to the bottom right with my brother, uh, Stevie Wonder here, okay? Better known as <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Brothers and sisters, I just want to send, uh, uh, give myself a hand clap. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, I often tell 
I often tell Simon he needs some counseling. You know what I'm saying? We all need counseling. But he really needs counseling. <laughs> I already, Simon, I already, how you doing, buddy? I already, listen, got, I already got my accountability counselor right here. here. He gets up this weekend. That's that's rare to get them. You got uh, Mama Ella. You got uh, Shakira Moore, Dr. Shakira Moore. You got uh, Adara. You got, uh, I think Dr. Sebi's wife is possibly coming. Yes, Hank no, she, she, son. Is, she is coming, not possibly. She How is. How did you <laughs> and Kafunya pull this off? Well, I have to say that. I with, wanted him to answer first. Oh, go ahead. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you know, Ma, I was one of the first to bring Ma out of not speaking because she wasn't one that would speak. She would only speak at her loft and her private settings only. So mm -hmm. to do a major event, I packed the house with Ma one time at the Marcus Garvey Center. You remember it over there on, on in East Flatbush, over there on Church Avenue and 51st Street back in the day. You had to mm -hmm. climb up them stairs. So mm -hmm. Ma came out and people came from all over to see the one who was the, the woman behind Dr. Sebi and the fig tree. And pa Dr. Sebi used to say it was Ma and Pachamama. Pachamama is, is, is it means Mother Nature. But Ma and Mother Nature was the one that put that those those compounds together and those things. So I I was going to Ma's uh, event. Those who remember, she used to have her own little law lectures back in the day over there near Lafayette Gardens at LG back in the day. And I used to go over there and sit there. I even taught a class there on disaster preparedness. And we did something on disaster preparedness and the proper foods to eat during those type of things. So she um we've been we've been knowing each other for quite a while and uh she you know i, I guess she feels safe around her son one of her spiritual sons uh, uh, brother king simon and hey we just she just said she'll do it i told monique and california let's do it and there we is there it is let's do it again <laughs> yeah and in fact uh this is a picture of her that's going to be there on saturday yeah. is that right, right yeah that's next to next to between me and our uncle yeah. Yeah. Son. Yeah. yeah good yeah. so for those of you who haven't seen you know, and they say behind every every successful man, there is a woman, and there she is, right there. That's right. And when I brought her in, remember, uh, remember the time I brought her at Nicholas, I had you open up also, if you remember. Yes, I know we did one together. Exactly. Yeah, and right. I think she's an Aquarius like us too. Yes, she's born right? Jan January 29th, Yes. Yeah, yeah. She's Ooh. Aquarius like us, so yeah. anyway, so there was Aquarius in the house that day. Yeah. Right now, let me start with the top right, uh, Doctor Moore. How are you? I'm doing well. Give thanks. Glad to be here with y'all again. <laughs> Good. I know I had you on before with Simon. I need yeah. to have you by yourself. I've never had Mama Ella on, so she's going to be up soon. And of course, I've had Kapunya on several times, but uh, there's mm. something coming up with crystals, and she is the crystal go to lady as far as I'm concerned. Right. Absolutely. You know but now, what do you do, uh, Dr. Moore? What will you be doing on your presentation? On I think it's on Saturday. Yes, Sunday. Uh, my presentation. Sunday, Sunday. 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 Exactly right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so, so what I'll be bringing uh, is showing how the iris can reveal um, parts of the body where um, shadow work was ignored. So different markings, the color of it, how deep it is, can show um, the suppression of different emotions and unhealed. Um, tra trauma patterns that we um, need to focus on that has elevated to a physical dis-ease. So I'll be bringing that aspect. I'll have a PowerPoint a slide showing different irises of, you know, different color markings and how not just looking at the physical aspect of disease, but more so what the spiritual attachment is so that we know what we need to work on. And then, of course, I'll be doing iridology readings. For those who's in the chat, uh, those who's um, online, they don't know what iridology is. It's looking at the iris, examining the color part of the eye for um, uh, weaknesses in the body, whether it's in the liver, the kidneys, the thyroid, um, the iris shows dis-ease well before your doctor can see it. Mm. Um, so we have to really be aware of this science. This is ours. You know, well before a doctor can see thyroid issues and cancer, what is called cancer, right? This is something that they term that. Uh, but I can see it well before it's full blown. So this is really a revolutionary way of how we avoid chronic disease in our lifetime. So uh, this is a way where we can, uh, you can get an iridology reading 25 minutes for about $55. Usually my readings are 
you know, 195. So y'all come on. Oh, no, I was going to say, and that's a bargain knowing you. Exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. So come on through, you know, get your, your 25 minute reading. You, uh, you know, get your information. So, you know, exactly pinpointing what you need, not just randomly detoxing and just, you know, navigating your health without your blueprint. So that's what I'll be bringing. All right. Uh, Yes. Now, to the woman in the golden yellow at the bottom, Woo! Mama Ella. <laughs> greetings. Greetings, everyone. Thank you for having me on your platform. This is actually the first time that I am on your platform, and I'm honored. Um, so on Saturday, the 13th, Master Number 13, right? Yeah. Um, I will be... So I'm leaning more towards... I'm not sure if I'm going to just be speaking from the heart and just channeling for the group and downloading messages as spirit provides to me, or um, I will come with a PowerPoint uh, presentation and explain the, um, the similarities between the endocrine system, which is your hormones and your chakras. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show that, you know, if on a spiritual level, if this particular chakra is out of whack, you need to consider that particular hormone or organ. So I'm just going to show the similarity between the physical realm and the spiritual realm as it pertains to your organs or your chakras. I mean, excuse me, the endocrine system with your chakras. All right. All right. Uh, uh, so. uh, the gentleman underneath me, uh, Hank Rising Sun, and you, my friend. Pause. Yo, first I want to say thank you, thank you, King Simon, thank you, Kofonia, thank you, listening audience. I'm getting high, and you're going to get high on this tea. This is my first time mixing King Kaliba tea with blue lotus petals and mm. now i know why all the egyptians look like they high in the stones because it's a it's a blissful vibe in the mix family do the mix of 50 50 kinkaliba wheat with blue lotus this is mm. my first time drinking it I, the kettlebell feels light and i feel like i'm here and not here at the same time well, I know when I looked at that cup about 10 minutes ago, it's near, <laughs> now I see it's getting more near the center. Okay? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm nursing this while you have the show, Lloyd. <laughs> and family, if you want to feel like energy and if you want to feel energy and bliss without the liquor, this is it. And I'm going to make sure that Kofunyu don't drink all of it up. <laughs> 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 I got a feeling this this is also a third eye opener. I got a Ooh. feeling because uh, if we catch up with Mama Ella, there's a new there's a new day there's a new sheriffs in town and deputies <laughs> because because uh, Dr. Shakiri, you're you you got a cloud around you of like you know how they have in in, in the movie Predator. It's like you got ripples of uh, I say it's angels. King Simon want to say ancestors, but ancestors on the inside. You got yeah. angels around you. And Mama Ella, I'm drinking this now. I'm gonna tell you what I see. Mama Ella look like she got a a, a a tube of light going straight up, up through the roof. And, and, and Kofunia look like she's having uh, happy gasms and chest gasms. You know, she got a big old flame on her head. And, 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 and King Simon was reminding me of Ray Charles instead of Stevie uh, Wonder. So yeah, salutations yeah, yeah, to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, We'll Boy, you, look like you got a halo around your head with that light bulb behind you, bro. Yeah, thank you. In Jesus. <laughs> Question. <laughs> Will you have samples of the Kalinka and the Blue Lotus? There oh, have, or... I mean, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have plenty. Of, if we're going to have a good time, y'all, um, I'm bringing this. I, I, I'm gonna now, bring, I'm where can people get these teas? Can they just, can they buy them or will, they, will you be available to sell the teas yourself? I'm going to sell the Kinkaliba. Uh, I won't know if I'll have enough of the Blue Lotus because I'm going to dump that in the sample gallons. I'm going to bring two gallons for sampling. and It is going to be a 50-50 on both. Mama Ella, you might levitate. Dr. Shakira, <laughs> I don't know what y'all going to do. King Simon might do that moonwalk while he levitating. 
and Kofunia might have a laugh therapy session, and Lloyd might be, I don't know what's going to happen. Well, you know, with those crystal balls and Tibetan balls orchestra and that gong setting off everything, you know, once the people get a taste of that, along with the, the frequencies and the word sound and power that uh, King Simon is going to bring, woo, we got to be you know, that's so interesting, because you were next, because I was going to say, you have some amazing bowls that you have. Brother, about these bowls that you have, that once you begin to resonate them, they resonate throughout the entire store. Well, we're coming with something uh, really, really different this time. You know, we're going to have a full orchestra of uh, singing bowls. We're going to have the Tibetan bowls. It's going to be like a surround sound live and then with the gong. And what that does, it helps raise the frequency of each cell. And so when you're raising the frequency, it's also changing your thought vibrations as well. So what, before we begin the, the meditation and everything, I will guide the people on what they should be thinking about. And then on top of that, King Simon is going to take us to the stratosphere, dealing with whatever he's going to be dealing with. And he's going to talk a little bit more about that tonight. But I suggest, you know, the one of the good things about having the sound there is that it opens up everyone so they can receive the information that they need to receive. So with the T, with the sound frequency and the word sound power, I'm, I'm, I'm letting people know, get your tickets and it's going to be live streamed as well. Get your tickets, man. For the out of towners, we understand that, you know, the airlines, you know, might have all their tickets sold out to come to Brooklyn. But or at JFK or LaGuardia, but you can still watch it through your computer. Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to bring Simon up. Simon, now you're going to bring a different concept this time in your presentation from what I understand. Is that correct, my friend? That is correct. Um, uh, Adara is in the backstage, she says, so look out for Adara. Oh, okay, good, good, scroll, good. Scroll, scroll down and bring her up if you can. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to, you know, really for the first time, which I've done it at Nicholas uh, Brooklyn before, uh, but not uh, done something certain things for the first time. But I'm definitely going to definitely definitely bring the numerovation of each number from one to nine over, over the bold frequency while people close their eyes and listen to their number. You know, because, you know, it was inspired by you, Lloyd, because you do have a meditation segment in your book. Uh -huh. However, I'm going to come off the head with what 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 flows at that time. I'm going to come off the head and and really make the make the downloads and the uploads unite with my heart and my mind and make it become one, so I can express what I need to express in the audience and for the audience as I walk around the room and talk it. I'm not going to stay in the front. I'm going to walk, but my voice is penetrable enough to get around the room, as we all know. So you know it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be very it's gonna be fun. You know how we do, my brother. You I know, know. That, that let there be no doubt. That's how you do. And, uh, and people, if you want to get the tickets, you can go to my link tree forward slash King Simon the Numero Vader. You can get the tickets to the event, a one stop shop for both tickets, and it take you right to the event. Right, if you want to, you don't want to scurry through things. It goes straight to the and they right on the top there, a the top tier. Yeah, you answered my question. Would they be able to get the stream yard link? I mean, yeah, the streaming link. Well, the streaming link that's going to be confusing them, but I did they didn't send me the streaming link, so I don't know what they're going to do. That I, I would put it, I would have put it on my link tree also, but so they need to send me. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let Monique send that uh, 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 link to you, uh, ASAP. Yes, and I can put it right in now. Yeah. Okay, now yeah. I want to bring Mama Ella back on in a second. She said she might be channeling or whatever. We know the, the when I was on with Hank and us earlier this week, they were talking about how dynamic you are and that you are amazing. So what do you do other than channel? Do you do readings and stuff like that per se? I, for lack of a better way of putting it, how would you describe what you do? Uh, the last part you was breaking up. I didn't hear the last the question. How do you describe what you do other than channeling? Because 
I understand you gave somebody a reading, at least what Hank was talking about. And it, I mean, it was just amazing. They were so impressed with what your skill sets are. Oh, yeah. Well, I I channeled on um, Brother Hank's, Uncle Hank's platform. And as a result of channeling, um, giving this person a mini reading, she went ahead and booked me for a, a full reading. And it happened to be Hank's biological sister. Um, and basically what I do when I speak of, like, as a medium, right, I connect with people's spirit guides and their ancestors. And so, like, whatever messages come through to me from their guides and their ancestors, I deliver it to my clients. Sometimes I'm able to tap into people's past life which is retrospective, is a retrospective medium. So I tap into their past life. I tap into the future. So nonetheless, you know, as the saying goes, there's no such thing as timing. So when I'm dealing with the spirit realm, they I pick up on past, present, and the future. And if a loved one chooses to come through to me, like someone who might have passed away, like a mother, a father, a grandmother, a grandparents, or whatnot, you know, brother, if they choose to come through my portal as I am speaking to the client, then I will also deliver the message to them, whatever the message may be. So there's different types of like mediumship that I consider myself or I am, whatnot. Um, and yeah, I can hear spirits, see spirits, see the future you know i mean i i'm also psychic but i don't like pronounce that or i don't advertise myself as being a psychic because i find that especially you know amongst the black community once somebody that says that they're psychic said something they're going to like oh yeah you know, no yeah. he I, said I, he that. said so i can't do that no i'm not i'm not even going to say that i'm just going to say this is what the, the spirit, your spirit guide said. So I don't want to sway anybody from losing out on their experience. And I remember Brother Panic once told me that because me and Panic, we were actually, we, I knew each other, we knew each other personally. And, you know, I was asking him questions. And he was like, this is where you go look. He said, I'm not going to tell you the, the, the answer because I don't want to rob you from the experience. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so like that's what I do that's why I don't like tell people that I am psychic even though you know Pisces are known as the it, psychic. it is the psychic sign of the zodiac so that's right up Thank there you. in fact Edgar Casey, the sleeping prophet was also a Pisces yep. born on March say Edgar, that again Edgar Casey, the sleeping prophet oh yes yeah he yes. was a Pisces March 18th that was was birthday. Yes, okay. was the Pisces. Now I'm going to bring somebody out who has just entered the room, and that is Sister Adara. Adara, Peace how are you, lady? I'm wonderful. Sorry, I'm late. I'm just getting in. Well, welcome to being human. Mercury's retrograde, so don't even worry about it. Now Absolutely. you have a specialty. Can you explain what that is going to be expressed? And I think we are meeting together on Saturday. I mean, Sunday. 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 Yes. yes. So um, I'm a tantric shaman, but what I'm going to be doing Sunday is introducing people to the world of subtle energy. And that is what people see me doing when they see me do tantric body work. I'm really just manipulating subtle energy and we all have the power to do it. So I help people learn how to do it, how to tap into their own and how to use it for their own benefit. So Sunday I'm also a consciousness explorer. So I'm very fascinated to what extent the human consciousness can go, right? So if people are willing to play with me on Sunday, we're gonna move some energy and, um, you know, we might surprise ourselves and see what we can do, you know what I mean? So uh, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be interesting. I might open some eyes of some people. So I just say have an open mind and uh, a childlike curiosity. So How did you get into this? How did you get into this? Oh, honestly, I signed up for a class. I did not know what I was signing up for. It just turned out to be my future, like, <laughs> my destiny, actually. Um, 
I was I, I started listening to Master Yao Morris on Blog Talk years ago. He did like a little series, and then he was talking about what's called second puberty, mm-hmm. and that's dealing with bringing about the attributes of masculinity and femininity that may not have come online naturally through puberty because we don't have rites of passages anymore. Sure. So the rites of passage was about more than just having a ceremony. It was actually to activate a certain energy within you so that you can mature properly and be this person in society that that the collective needs. Makes so um, That makes a lot yeah, of sense. Yeah, yeah. So in the process of trying of bringing these things out about um, out in myself. I learned the art of tantric body work. I did the practices. And what that does is it causes a rapid Kundalini expansion. And if you do the work that goes with it, then your Kundalini continues to expand and it stays and all this other stuff. So I ended up revealing to myself my gifts and abilities that I didn't think I have. I didn't think I had like healing. Uh, I'm not saying that I heal. I just create the container, right? But we're going to say healing, sure, right? Sure. So, um, People had all kinds. So I was working with this one young man that had sickle cell. We helped rebuild some of his hip bone, right? That was pretty cool. Um, I worked with. I'd uh, say so that's I, very cool. Yeah, yeah okay. it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, so that's kind of where I started. Also, was like specialized in working with men, and then that branched off into um, channeling but then letting the spirits work through me to do the healing. So I'm like more on that lane um, or I, I, contr- I, I don't really want to say control environments, but I can manipulate environments. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All around, all, all around us at all times. And we all are projecting a certain field. And if you're aware of the dynamics of the things going on around you, you can switch things to your favor. So like one thing I tell ladies all the time is if you're talking to a man and you want to come off, non-aggressive or non-confrontational just stand at an angle you see what i'm saying because mm-hmm. energy it's like personal feng shui you just stand at an angle and it doesn't feel challenging to them and they're more easily receptive to what you have to say to them you know what i mean little mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's all energetic so i got into it like that and it just continues to reveal more and more and more gifts so what i'm doing saturday um before the nicholas event at the guided play event that I'm having, I will be kind of debuting the higher level of the things that I do. And and, um, when we were on this week, you said you only had six tickets left. How can people get tickets? Do you have any more tickets left? And if so, how can they get them? So you can go to www.adaramozelle.com and just go to the events page. It's got to say it slower, Dallas. Sorry. (laughs) Uh, www.adaramozelle.com. And then just go to the events page and it's God at play. And you Adara can register. Mozell for- is spelled how for those that may be. Can you spell your name? A- mm-hmm. A-D-A-A. Oh, right there. It's right there. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. So yeah, much. of course. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. Okay. And um, so the whole goal of that is to give people an opportunity to experience their self and their divinity life. I can tell you all day long about what you're capable of, but some things are beyond words. So I just got to show you. Sure. And if you're willing sure. to yeah, show yourself, then we're just creating that container for you to do that. And I just, you know, okay. press the button and see what happens. Now, I'm going to press a button here, too, because I saw Hank manipulate these images. Okay. It, it, how do you do this thing? Okay. <laughs> um, I'm trying to do. Okay. Did I do this? It was it's, good. It's, okay. You're doing it. <laughs> do I have everybody on the screen? Yes. Okay, let me see. Uh, yep, you got everybody. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. Yeah, there we That's go. I, I kind of like uh-huh. that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. See, Simon told me at the last minute, Simon and, and uh, Hank Rosic, I said, how do they do this? You know? <laughs> okay. Um, now, who would like to speak about some of the things they're going to be doing again, too? Because I think this is very, very interesting. It's going to and and first of all, let me get to you, Kafunya, because and Simon, because you two are the ones who kind of got this idea to get all these beautiful people and talented and gifted individuals that's going to be here this weekend. So who want to go first, you, Kafunya, or King Simon? Let, let Kafunya go. Okay, so um, like I had mentioned before, the Spiritual Legacy series is honoring the living ancestors who bridge the physical and spiritual realms with messages of empowerment. And because um, the mission uh, 
aligns perfectly with what our vision and mission is. And because we value what everyone does here within the community, you know, that's how, again, it came about. And me, you know, working with the crystals, the essential oils, the tuning forks, and all of those things, um, I, I just love bringing that, that those frequencies because as you know, each cell has their own brain, you know, and so when we can, you know, elevate a person, they can do exactly what we are doing and even better and allowing people to, you know, if they have a dream or a vision, that vision can come into reality, you know, so people have to know that because even in Christianity, they say, you know, Yahashua the Christ says, the kingdom of heaven is, is within, and um, the kingdom of heaven is within, and the God force, the God frequency is within you. So we have to honor those right here, right now, because when they go to the next realm, they might be on another assignment. You know what I'm saying? Got it, got it, got it. Simon? I know you're busy. I know you're busy, bro. That's oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me then. Let me go. Okay. Let me go to Dr. Moore then. Dr. Moore, how did you get into this in the first place? Yes. So um, this story never gets old. <laughs> uh -huh. um, when I was on a discovery of self, uh, changing my diet, I knew by a certain point that I was supposed to be heal helping people. Uh, but it wasn't until my mom told me the story when she had her first iridology experience, when she was around my age, um, she had, uh, a, a, like a terrible pain that's indescribable. And anyone, it, once I tell the story, it, people know that pain. So she, uh, went to doctor after doctor, they ran every test, couldn't figure out what it was. It was two weeks in and out of the doctors didn't know what it was. They gave her pain medication and they said, Hey, we don't know what else to do. Right. And so my grandmother was like, listen, I told you to go to that iridologist. You know, my grandmother loved <laughs> iridologist. Um, and so my mom was a skeptic a little bit, but with nothing to lose, you know, in this pain, she went and two minutes and sitting into his chair, he said, you have gallstone. You know, he looked into her gallbladder area of the iris and seen how dark it was. And so he's like, and she's like gallstones, you know? So he told her what diet um, creates uh, or uh, the stones. And it was exactly what she was doing and eating at the time. He gave her a remedy to pass the stones. And, and Friday she had to fast by Monday stones were passed. And I was just amazed. I'm like, a, some, a doctor could look into the eye and tell you you know, where the pain was and you went to medical doctor at the, I was like, oh my goodness. So right then and there, um, you know, my mom put me through school. I knew that's what I wanted to do. So I went to school for iridology, followed up. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. Yep. Nice. Yeah, sure. yeah. Yeah. Finished in 2018, went back to school for naturopath. And so it's, it's just been a, a, an amazing journey. And now I do the same thing for other people. We just had her uh, liver flush. Uh, not too long ago, where several people in the chat uh, passed a lot of stones. Um, a lot of people reported that manifestation was easier because you got to think all of that that stuff sludged in your system. Your pathways are not open enough for you to uh, have the abundance that you're looking for. So people were commenting in the chat on WhatsApp. Yeah, I just got the job that I wanted. I just signed a contract for this house. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm reporting that I made more money this week than the last. So it's like, you know, when you cleanse on a physical level, that opens up your uh, spiritual pathways for you to gain what you, you know, what you desire. So it, it's just, an, it's just amazing, you know, uh, what you can see in the eye. Like, you can well, see everybody that. make sure y'all come this week and bring your eyes with you. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your eyes with you. Yeah, no choice. <laughs> and, and get red. I mean, this is such a cross section. And I and I gotta talk to Hank. Hank with uh, your oh, oh, of oh, yeah. crystals and oh. pyramids. He's yeah. In fact, Hank, I saw you having a lady. Yes, I got I mine have too. I'd have to get up and go get mine, but I can't do that right now. This oh, is this is a pain remover. It also helps decalcify. 
heart chakra and third eye. Will you have one of those available? Uh, yes, the, I will. Hold it one can for magnetize me. water, tea, yeah. juice, and pull pain away immediately. Good. Then Good. we're going to have xenon pyramids. This is a xenon gas. is a gas for the cells to heal, the heart to heal from bad memories. And if you got drama and trauma, you can put xenon near your I got heart. Mine, I got mine over there by the wall. See, I can't get up yet. I got all these things. Listen, didn't you give that to the four-year-old little girl this Sunday? Yeah, she got her little toes uh, massage. Yeah, she got her toes massage. She was four years old. That was the sweetest thing. And you should have saw how she looked at Hank like who? You got to understand, a four-year-old little girl looking at Hank, he was massaging her feet, and then he gave her that, and he spun it around, and she just, I mean, children are just so beautiful. Yeah, so beautiful. I mean, hey, uh, they come this way once. You know. That's right. And that was such a nice experience to see Hank, and God bless you for that. That was amazing. Let me tell you, family, children are already in a state of enlightenment. Yes. Mm -hmm. She, I felt like I was massaging an angel's feet. Aww. She was fully luminous. She yeah. was present. Her face was she like, was, it mean, was like just she was holy. Yeah. That's yeah. the only way I can describe. And then schooling makes us, schooling is fooling if you're not homeschooling. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Again, for the people in the back, Unc, that uh, rhymed. <laughs> What'd you say? You said schooling is what? You said something. Public schooling, schooling is schooling. schooling. If you're not homeschooling. If you're right. not homeschooling. That's you know, right. I know sisters get their biological urge, but I'm going to tell you, sisters, you better prep up those homeschool books because your beautiful lotus child will be mashed and crashed with the public For real. For real, yeah. Hey, 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 Unc, you remember this? Unc, you remember this? Ooh, that's a powerful Ooh, one. Unc, Unc, you made this years ago. So. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but I still have them all over my computer. We'd be covering the, my, my screen. I mean, I've got <laughs> yeah. magnets, and I've got this and that. So um, I'm going to tell all the audience, listen, if y'all over 25 and you want to maintain... Come on down to this event so that you can not only feel good, you'll look good, and you'll be educated like you should be. Right, right. And, um, and you know, uh, family, remember the tickets. You can get it right here. And the live stream tickets. You, you have two choices when you go to that link for both days to get, either watch it on live stream you can come to my link tree forward slash King Simon. You'll see spiritual legacy and spiritual alchemy. It'll take you to both those two links through that one, those each link. So you can either go to the live stream or be there live. And I want to say to the family while I was on the phone here, it was Dick Gregory's nephew that called me, Mark Gregory. And um, he, I'm got, actually going to be doing a tribute to Dick Gregory October 12th in Atlanta with a comedy show with Mark Gregory. So <laughs> we're about to turn it up. I'm about to let it out. We're going to do what we do. Tribute to Dick Gregory. Y'all need to fly yeah. out to Atlanta, Van. I'm going to have the whole vending thing. I'm going to do what I do. You know? and, remember, and remember, Simon, we did something while Dick Gregory was a little late. We spoke until the time exactly. he arrived there. It was and, in Brooklyn. And, and, and that's going to be a whole weekend. October 12th, his birthday with his with his yep. nephew. And then October 13th, Baba Ashra Kwesi and Mary Ra Kwesi. Two days. Woo! Now, what I'm going to do is this. Uh, I've got somebody there. coming soon, but I want to start with Adara Moselle. How can people get in touch with you other than seeing you this weekend on Sunday? Now, you okay, see, yes. You out your site again, and, and people can get tickets for Saturday. And then they can absolutely. Come on Sunday, please. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So, again, you can go to Adara, I mean, www.adaramoselle.com. Also, Adara Moselle on Instagram is where I post most of my stuff. So, if you want to see any of my work or anything else like that, you can follow me there. I offer private sessions. I have maybe one more spot for private sessions while I'm in New York. It's probably going to have to be there. For me. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm working, man. I'm working, man. man uh, do, you have a, do, you have a, do you have a cash app? I have a cash app, uh, Adara's is. Electric. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what? Electric touch. A like, dollar. Okay, touch. is that a dollar sign? Mm-hmm. A dollar sign. A dollar is electric touch. I can put it in the chat if you guys want. Um, but yeah, yeah, reach out to me. I'm very responsive. I do distance sessions. Um, the beautiful yeah, thing put about that in the chat so my moderator can put it up on the screen too. This is what everybody calls Sha- Shakira. You're next. How can people get in touch with you in case they can't come this weekend to see you and absolutely. have a private session? Yes, absolutely. So um, my link is to- in the chat too. There you go. There's just popped up. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Shadira, Shakira. Sure. Yes, yeah, sure. So my, my link tree is triple W link tree slash holistic healer. That's H O L I S T I C A healer.com. Um, my main website, we're doing, a, we're doing maintenance right now. So the holistic palace website, it may show is down, but my other website, be the waters is up. So you can book a consultation there. All be of the waters, be the waters.com. All of my links are on my link tree. So that's okay, so can you can you post your link tree in the private chat so that can oh, be a private chat? Yeah. The moderator. Got yes. it. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. See, I don't. I'm not. Simon is so good with what he does. When we did this, show, <laughs> every time he mentioned somebody, the thing has flash course. So I still got a long way to go. So I'm I'm copying Simon. But in the meantime, put it on the put it on the uh, <laughs> the private chat, and so that way people can know. And this is uh, brother great. Lloyd. Uh, yes. question. I want to ask uh, Dr. Moore. Thank you. Thank you. It's right there. Yes. Uh, I was going to ask Dr. Moore, do you have like a sign up registration, like with certain times for the readings or like, how are you doing that? I will be. Yes. That's how I usually do it at the event. So it's like 25 minutes. So you could sign up from like four, I guess to eight. I'm not sure what my speaking session is. So um, mm-hmm. yeah, it'll be you. You'll sign up and then when it's your turn, you can get called up and get your reading done. Good. Uh, well, I was going to ask Kafunia next, but Kafunia jumped ahead of me, and hers is Kafunia.com. I saw yours. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I saw yours. You know, you ain't, listen, you ain't a Leo for nothing. There you go. <laughs> IG, her IG, Kafunia.com. By the way, uh, Dr. Moore, do you have a cash app that people can reach out to you? Yes. It's dollar sign Holistica Love. I'm going to put it in. Um, yeah, I clicked my wrong IG and it's Kafunia Star Rebel. Okay. Um, do you have a cash app too, uh, sister? Uh, thank you. I got a holistic love. Okay. A love. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kafunia, you have a dollar sign with you too? Yes, I do. It's dollar sign Kafunia Ife. I'll okay, put it well, in the, put that in the, put chat. That in the yes. private chat too, please. So my moderator can put it up there. All righty. Uh, Hank, you next, buddy. How do people get in touch with you? Uh, they can come to my YouTube channel, Magnets, Crystals, Pyramids, and Cash App. I want you to go to Mama Ella or Mama Adara because these are two young mothers. And if you want to give something to me, Uncle Hanky, I want y'all to gift these two beautiful mothers that are bringing forth the future generations. That's right. Well, all, you know, of them, all of them are mothers, sir. All of them are mothers. I've been knowing Hank about I've been knowing Hank about close to 40 years, seriously. <laughs> Hank has always given me something. He's the only person I gotta force to buy something from him. Mm-hmm. Magnets, everything. But notice how he did give the monies too. Because Mama Ella, you next on there, so get ready, dear. You know what I'm saying? So, but yes. but that's his spirit. That's how Hank is, and it's, great. it's nice it's great. to be very powerful to be that selfless in his love. Exactly. Uh, so, um, well, we we still gonna hit you off on the weekend. So don't you worry, Hank. Mama Ella, how can people get in yeah. touch with you? And can you put it in the private chat, please, so people can see it too? Okay, so um, you can reach me at on Instagram at your underscore majesty 13. That is you are underscore majesty 13. I also have a YouTube channel um, that you can subscribe to. And if you would like to receive a mini reading, I, I some like I always post before I go online so you can 
get the notifications that I'm going online and doing these mini readings. My YouTube channel is Ella Samori, so that is E L L A S A M O R Y, which I will put in the chat. Um, and my website is samoriesherbs.com. That is Samoris, S A M O R Y S, herbs.com, where I have all natural herbs from the island of Jamaica. Which all right, all right, I like that. Yeah. I like that. I've been providing okay. since what 2016? Yeah. yeah. Long time and, now. So. And, 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 and Mama, Mama Ella, don't forget you're going to be on Brother Rich's show tonight at nine o'clock. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be. Also See, on, you ain't even. Uh, hey, you, I mean, yeah. King Simon, thank you for letting us know. See, she was going to go out. Plug the event. I mean, <laughs> I want all of y'all to plug what you do because they don't understand. This is one of the rare weekends where we can get all of you together collectively, and all people got to do is show up at 1396 Fulton Street at Nicholas Brooklyn. That's all they got to do. Right. See you, shake your hand, show you love, embrace. Um, and also, I want you to support them, too. It's very, very important because every single one of us in this panel have stepped out on faith. I don't know what any of y'all that's got a nine to five in that sense. Y'all got a pension plan, a 401k, whatever the case is. So every single one of these individuals in the panel is is doing things that like really it's, it just shows a, just a, a real love that we have for helping humanity. Because if we didn't, we would stay safe in our jobs, keep it real safe, you know what I'm saying, go through some drama. But the fact that all of y'all are doing this is great. So I want to uh, thank all of y'all very much. Uh, last words. I'm going to start with you, Adara. Last word. Um, yeah, just come on out and you're going to have an amazing experience uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I look forward to working with you guys. If you uh, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do. It's Adara Moselle. And uh, yeah, tell your friends, tell your people, come on out. It's going to be amazing. It really is. I'm, I'm excited. Shakira Moore. Yes, um, I also have a, uh, I forgot my YouTube channel, uh, whole, um, the Master Iridologist, Holistic Healer. Um, I have a lot of different Hold videos. Hold repeat that one more time. You said it kind of fast, young lady. Can you repeat? Oh, it's uh, at the Master Iridologist. So um, I have a few videos on there where um, we, I talk, I show, you know, different aspects of the iris and what diseases can be told. Um, I do a class every Sunday. This Sunday, I'm not going to do a class because I'll be at the event. Uh, but we do different classes every Sunday, just showing what can be told through the iris on my YouTube. So you can subscribe to that. And I can't wait to be back in my hometown, Brooklyn. Uh, and just... <laughs> You Mama Ella, you before we sign off and we see you later on tonight on uh, you have the last word also. Yes, so I will be on Brother Rich's channel tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And honestly, if you are looking for a positive and real deal psychic medium reading, book with me. I, I will contact your ancestors, your spirit guides, tap into your past life and things of that nature, right? I've done, um, I've provided sessions for, for Kafunia, yes. um, King Simon. I've Woo! channeled on Uncle Hanky's platform. So, you know, check me out. I'm not I'm, just- I'm going to check you out myself, personally. Yes, okay. you want to check me out. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, I'm, I'm true to this, not new to this. Uh, last word, Kafunia, with your beautiful self. Um, I forgot to mention my YouTube channel, which is uh, Kafunia Ife. I have a YouTube channel, which I'm going to get excited. But the main thing is come out and support your own community. Come out and support these sisters, these brothers. King Simon, you know, he he's the connoisseur. No, uh, Simon is the best. So um, a promotion. You know, we know how we do back in the day and Mama Ella is the truth because I recently had a passing of my brother and she 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 did it, man. She she's the real thing. I heard, I heard word about Mama Ella and they, they said your reputation precedes you. Okay. Yes. 
Like she is amazing. And Brother Lloyd and Uncle Hanky, listen, y'all, we've been supporting every other community but our own. Come out and support definitely Nicholas Brooklyn, who's celebrating 50 years, you know, of this family melanated business. Yeah. So come true like you know you should. All right? Yes. Hank, and you, sir. You, Hank. Last word, sir. <clears throat> How's that tea working, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> what so you seem to like they all chill. Nah. That must be some powerful tea, boy. I'm going to give, give King Simon about 16 ounces of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what just came He's to gonna me? He's going to be in Mars. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Fortune to receive fortune, give and forgive. Yes. To receive good fortune, forgive and give. Mm -hmm. That's nice, Hank. That's uh, nice. Hey, that makes you know, sense. You look like you out of high school, so I ain't, you know. I, I, King Simon said you're a mama, but, you know, I, I want some ID. <laughs> Are you talking about me? Are you talking about me? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm a mama. You. My daughter just turned nine. <laughs> wow. I, don't believe that. No, uh, I got two high schools. I appreciate around the compliment. Here. That's I saw I got there's two high schools around here, and you look like you out there with them. <laughs> yeah, that, that's Simon, my... last word before you sign off. And Simon, thanks so much for gathering this uh collective of uh of uh, outstanding individuals. I say you know, uh, us, us. Uh, yeah, well, thank you very much. He's near. He's near Prospect, uh, Prospect, Prospect Heights, and uh, Clara Barton. So big up to Uncle Rise's son. I know where he's at. Yeah. So, yep, and, yep. And, and and don't forget the high school of the deaf is right up the block too. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forget. So yeah. But um, come on out. Remember, come to the link tree, and that's link tree forward slash King Simon the numeral Veda. That's link tree forward slash King Simon the numeral Veda. That's where all my events are happening, all the things that I do. My YouTube channel, King Simon Presents, or the Numeral Ovation Nation. All my books, everything you want to get, you can go to my link tree or my IG. Of course, is I am dot King Simon. I am thankful for your audience. I'm thankful for all the people that came on and all. I can't wait to see. I'm leaving tomorrow, so I will be there in New York City. Ready. And these, now this is it for Saturday. That's right. That's and right. This is it for Sunday. That's right. Now That's I right. have to do a part two with Brother Jabari out of Baltimore. Uh, this is because, a tremendous. Because of Brother Jabari, that's my people. I think that's yeah. if that's the Jabari I'm thinking about. Let, let me let me bring him up. Hold up. Let me let see. Me see. Oh, big brother, big brother Jabari, what's up? <laughs> what's going on, Brother King? What's going on, Brother King? How you feeling? <laughs> now this brother here has brought in Dick Gregory, like I brought in Dick Gregory. He had a real good relationship. He already with told me. He the already one, told me family, that anytime he called, Dick Gregory was always there. Always there. Well, I'm going to be at his venue on. Saturday the 13th. That's why I, I need, need, to, be, I need to come out there. Time. I need to come out there, uh, Jabari. I need to come out there. I haven't been over there. And uh, I know what's the name invite me. Dr. Baruch invite me to his venue. I definitely got to come. Oh, you got to go to Dr. Baruch. Yeah. Too. Yeah. But, uh, but Jabari is a living legend out of B Moore, man. Enough respect to him. Uh, yeah. Last time I ran into you I was at Dr. Ben's funeral. That's the last time we, we ran into each other, gave each other a hug. It was good to see you, of course. Uh, what's up, brother Jabari? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get together and do something together, bro. You know See, the deal. It goes to show you how small this world is. All right. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. it. We so definitely got to do something you. together. I'm going right. to have to see you all later. We'll do your thing with Jabari. Jabari, what's up? I got your numbers. All right. All right, Jabari. Take care, man. I'll talk right, to peace. you. Peace. Peace to the peace. family. Peace. Okay. Y'all take care. Thank yes. you. Jabari, hold on. Let me see. Uh, there's they're signing off, and uh, okay, there we go. Uh, Hank is the last one, I think. And so I'm trying to get back to how this thing works. Uh, I see he's still enjoying his tea. Oh, I finished that, man. I threw the cup away. <laughs> Jabari, how you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing, brother Lloyd? Fine, I've heard about you before, but I will have the pleasure of actually meeting you face to face at an event that you are sponsoring um, at your facilities. And in fact, this is the flyer right 
here. And yeah. uh, I was introduced to you to Dr. Brooke, although I'd heard about you before, you know, but this is going to be where I'm going. So those of you in the city of Baltimore and the surrounding areas, I think the tri-state area there is D.C., Maryland and Virginia. Would that be correct? That's your tri-state area in that way. Definitely. So those definitely. of you in the tri-state area, this is the place uh, I will be there at uh, 5525 uh, Hartford. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, Hartford, Hartford Road. Yeah, Baltimore, Hartford Road. Baltimore, Maryland, 21214. How did you get into this? Oh, man, so... And you've you been know, doing this for years, too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it'd be 29 years. 29 years in October that we wow. actually been doing this. I started working at a, a, a black bookstore called Everyone's Place in Baltimore. And you probably know, because I didn't even realize that I knew you like I knew you. Um, Sister Kenda... Who, um, who we work together and do a lot of a lot of things together. She said, uh, "Do you want to bring the world renowned um, uh, Lloyd Lloyd Strayhorn, numerologist?" And I was like, "World renowned? Who 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 is that?" <laughs> and you know, you know, so that was a so I didn't know. So then it was crazy. The next week, the next week, Doctor Baruch called me and said, "Hey, you heard of brother um, Lloyd Strayhorn, numerologist?" I was like, "You know what?" I said, "The sister was just talking to me about a brother named mm -hmm. Lloyd Strayhorn." So as it started to go on more and more, even the brother, one of my barbers in the barber shop. He was like, yeah, I see you bringing um, Lloyd Strayhorn. You know, I, I got his book, man. He he spot on. And I was like, what's what's the name of his book? And he was like, what is it? The, the num numbers in you? Is it yep, numbers, numbers in you? In you. Yeah. And, and I realized I was like, wait, man, I used to sell that book back in the day when I, <laughs> when we used to sell books out in the street. And and uh and I realized that you know I was like, wait wait a minute. So then as I just I mean just just even last night I was just scrolling through the internet. I mean and I wasn't even I didn't even pull your name up, but I was just looking. It was like uh, uh Zoe Williams. And I seen, you know, what I mean, the Lloyd, you know, what I mean, the legendary Lloyd Strait. I'm like, wait a minute, this brother yeah, is all time, very, right? very, very, very <laughs> humble. And I'm like, I didn't realize that I knew your works, you know what I'm saying? But I'd never, you know, I'd never seen you speak and those different things. But you've been around with everybody, all the big, yeah. all the big wigs. Yeah, I you have know. been around doing this for yeah, quite some time. Yeah. It would be a pleasure to be a first with you there in the city of Baltimore. Though y'all had some, y'all made the news that was kind of like dramatic, but. Yeah. Uh, nonetheless, it's it's going to be very interesting. And so for those of you, this is the flyer. So for those of you, please take a screenshot because also Brother Jabari is also going to be streamlining the event also. So uh, the doors will open from one to four. Uh, at the, the event is from one to four, but the doors will open at 12. And it's the TNAT Holistic Wellness Center at 5525 Hartford Road there in Baltimore, and um, they have an early bird special and also the live stream. And so for that, how do they do? They call your number 410 so I'm, I'm actually trying to put the link in the chat right now. Um, yeah. I actually sent the link. Well, I, I did it in the private. For some reason, I was trying to make me do something else before I got into the into the comments. Okay, there it is right over. there. Yeah, but so, you had, I think you got to, if you copy it and then you got, it got into the main, um, into the main chat. If you could, I don't know if you can copy and paste it into the. Well, main I have chat. a moderator. Maybe she can help me with. Oh, that. okay, definitely, yeah. definitely, um, definitely. Hold up. Yeah, hold so y'all come on out. It's gonna man, we 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 gonna have a good time. It's gonna be the first time that we bring in um the legendary Lloyd Strayhorn to town. Like I said, I I didn't realize that I really, you know, really knew his works and knew exactly who he was. And people been raving about him. Normally, I'm in the loop. But you know, what I mean, I guess I, you know, what I mean, I guess I've been out of that loop, you know, what I mean, for a while. But no, you I haven't been out of the loop, brother. You just been busy <laughs> raising right, your right. And doing some things, and I and he endears me to me because, like my dad, he was he's a barber also, and so my father was uh, a very good. He my just a great man as far as I'm concerned, as far as my dad is, but a barber and my mother a beautician. So that's oh, why that's they so always, uh, yeah, that's that's how they roll. That's how they did it. Yeah, I used to work out of my bob, my father's barber shop, sweeping, shining shoes, hanging up clothes, everything, everything. Right. I do have a, I do have a side question. Believe it or not, as a barber, at one time I was as a as a youngster, I was uh, sweeping, right, and in sweeping, I accidentally brushed the gentleman's foot that was sitting in my father's chair. <laughs> He got up and snatched that broom. I thought he was going to whack me, but he spit <laughs> into the broom. It, evidently, there was a superstition. Does that still exist? Yeah, it still exists. Well, not for everybody, but for me, I'm, I'm I'm like that. I can't I can't front. You know, if if somebody touched my foot with that broom, 
you know what I mean? Then I, I do the same thing. I mean, I don't yeah, snatch, I don't snatch it from people. I just and put a water spit in it. <laughs> I'm glad he did it to the broom because I thought he right, was right, right. Him. But that taught me a lesson. And ever since then, I swept very carefully around people. I gave them plenty of room. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But to answer your question, how I got started, um, like I, I started at everyone's place, a bookstore here in Baltimore, and who sells your book. Um, you may know African World Books. Uh, yes, I think yes, you, I do. Yeah, mm -hmm. African World Books with um, Brother Nati, and so I worked for him at everyone's place in the bookstore part. Um, that was in 90, 94. I worked for him for for a few years. So while I was there, I would see all of these different scholars would come through there, and different people that you know. So I started to look at all of the VHSs at the time, and I would look at all these different things, and I said, "Man, we need something like this in Baltimore." And as I would look, I knew who everybody, pretty much who everybody was. Anything, any, he would get these big shipments of tapes that would come in from New York, actually. They would come in, and I would actually, um, what, what was that? Um, from the Slave Theater, different places yeah, all, around, all around, all yeah, around, yeah, all around New York. It was Re Reverend Cle is it Reverend Cle Reverend, um, something, I think it's Reverend Brown who used to do a lot of the taping of a lot, a lot oh, of that stuff. That's Clemson Brown. Right, 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 right. I think, I think a lot of them. So, yeah, exactly. So, um, man, I, and I just will watch everybody. And I'm like, man, we need to do this in Baltimore. So working at everyone's place, which was, which was the mecca of black consciousness, you know, I just started, as I met people, I started to get numbers. And then I started to get this person number from there. I was 19 years old. And from there, you know, just, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of lectures that we've been able to bring to the Baltimore area. You know, so it's, I mean, from Dr. Wells into Steve Coakley to Dell Jones to uh, uh, Sister Soldier, uh, uh, I, I, and I'm and, and Brother Gregory James Small, on regular, what you Dick Gregory me. on a on a Dick regular. Just had Professor Smalls uh, just last week or week before. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. A couple couple weeks ago, we had him. Um, young Umar Johnson when he first started off. Uh, I mean, you name them. We've had we you know we've had him on in, in the like Dr. Jeffries. And I'm just shooting names to just come, just Dr. Well, Claude I'm Anderson. In the company, that's what that tells me. <laughs> definitely, definitely, company, definitely. You know, it's definitely. Yep, yep, yep. But I do want to thank you for this. But everybody, please, uh, for those in the area, and if you can't be in the area, you can see my lecture there at uh, uh, Survival Nation. Did I say the name correctly? Um, so Survivor, Survivors Nation. So S O L V I V A Z Nation. Yes, right at the top, right there. Yeah. And uh, because, and please come to the TNAT Holistic Center Wellness Center in person for those of you in the tri-state area of Maryland, Virginia, D.C. If not, if you're in New York or other parts or outside the country, just tune in live stream. Just call for 410-303-4120. And you, he did send the link. I don't know how to kind of do it like that but we'll we'll figure out some kind of way to do that but those who want to participate in the live stream this way you can see it in the comfort of your home other than that my brother i look forward to being in the place no question we look, we, we look forward to having you and thank you again we appreciate you for even considering coming here to baltimore which we which we call tubman city also but thank you for what, what do you call it that. tubman city T tubman tubman city like harriet tubman city yeah Dr. Barshango, I don't know if you know Dr. Barshango. He used to like yes, rename a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he used to rename a lot of the um the the, the cities and all. And he, when he would come here, he always called it the Tubman City. So he used to say it, but we made it real popular here in Baltimore. So we we, we say Tub City. That's good. That's good. Yeah, brother. Thank you so so much, man. You have a blessed day, and I'll see you literally in a couple of days. All right. Definitely, definitely. Peace okay. and have a great great night. You too. You too. So everybody, I want to thank you very very much. Um, and I'm going to have uh, Jabari back on in a further thing because he has such an amazing kind of background that I'm going to really I'm going to really explore that more. But I want to let you know that the show tonight was brought to you by King Simon. And he's got this event coming up this Saturday and the event coming up this Sunday. And also on Monday, I'm going to have on live with uh, me, uh, Jazz Aphrodite. Uh, she is going to be talking about her class, her master class in numerology. She will have her brand new book that's out in both hardcover and softcover edition. I purchased both already. So I will have mine by the time it's on the show. And also, Saving the Best for Last, also sponsored Manifest on Purpose with Ms. Kimberly, who is uh, just a superb. Uh, she, she reminds me so much of uh, 
of uh, Ianla Van Zant. Ianla Van Zant will give something, then kind of give a story or narrative so you can get the principle of it. So she tends to take a, a page of her life, but the universal principles are so on point. So I would advise anybody to see this. Uh, and again, I will be here on uh, Saturday in Baltimore, and then I will be here on Sunday in Brooklyn. So it's gonna be a busy weekend for me. But please, for those of you, uh, take down the number, which is 410-303-4120. That's 410-303-4120 for live stream. And for those of you in the area, please stop by. It'll be a pleasure to meet you. I'll be there between 1 and 4. Uh, they do have some other events going on. Um, also, I want to let you know that today and tomorrow, my classes on sale. Now, they're, they're getting... I'm, I'm going to tell you, if you notice, the only time I promote my classes is when they're on sale. There are no excuses. Now, one day I'm going to fool everybody. I'm going to say, this is the full price and you don't need to get it. But what I'm saying, since the economy is so crazy, rent is so high, food is so high, I really take advantage of making sure that y'all have this knowledge for as little as much as possible out of your pocket. So as you see, if I look at that, that's less than $45. And you got all three of my classes that you own, all right? And my classes are now in over 110 countries and 30 languages and thousands of students. So I'm very honored, but this is the only time I will promote the book. It's my Learn From Lloyd series. Learn From Lloyd How to Read a Person Like a Book. Learn from Lloyd the do's and don'ts of numerology and learn from Lloyd the next step in numerology. And all of them, not Lloyd Strayhorn saying it, but all of them, as you see, are considered best sellers or highest rated. So I consider that a real uh, compliment uh, coming as it is. Uh, for those that would like to, uh, my free monthly newsletter, um, this way you can see what's up for the month of April with its crazy self. Don't forget, we just had an eclipse on Monday. Uh, this, the week before that, we had the soul, uh, Mercury retrograde, so things are crazy. And people, when they get the form in this, see, now, when you get it in your email, it looks like that. So it'll only go up to about maybe Scorpio. And so for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, they can't see it. But if you notice at the top right, it'll say view in browser. So if you view in browser, click on that, you can see the entire uh uh, uh, horoscope reading for the month and under the challenging favorable days and challenging days I've now added another feature which is that link at the bottom of each of your signs so what you can do is click on the narrative because I now record uh, on manifest on purpose each month and um, it's, it's this show right here that you can see on YouTube and so if you want to listen to all of the, the narrative from and I talked about the retrograde, I talked about the eclipse, and I talked about all the zodiac signs and the conditions for the month. So you'll see all of that. But for those of you who read, and so when I write, it's totally different than when I speak. So about 80% of what I said is not here on what you're reading. So if you want to get the full narrative, and this way you can click on the link to get uh, your sign, other people's signs, whatever the case is. And uh, I do thank people who have reached out to me about uh, wanting to learn how to do this as a career. Uh, when I was coming up doing this, I had nobody. Fortunately, I lived in the city of New York. Fortunately, they had a lot of bookstores that are no longer here. Uh, Zoltan Mason's bookstore, uh, Wise's bookstore, Tree of Life bookstore. These were the major hubs in which I got all of my books on numerology and astrology and so I'm self-taught, but I've done enough of this over the decades where I can teach you if you're serious about making this a career. So and if so, just go here, Numbers in You and Beyond Workshop, uh, Learning the Art of Numerology as a Career. And just write to a star 8 llc at gmail.com, star 8 llc at gmail. And for those of you, you can get the a star app on your phone, on Amazon, on Android, by just going to their stores and typing in a star eight and downloading it. And for those of you, I thank you. It is coming together. It's been a minute. I ain't going front. But now I understand on this side of the equation, when they talk about the bugs and the updates 
exactly what that means. So everybody, I want to thank you very much. And all of you have a great weekend. Uh, I look for those of you in the Baltimore area, Maryland and Virginia area and DC area. I look forward to seeing you on Saturday. And for those of you in the New York area, New Jersey, Connecticut, or wherever, I look forward to seeing you on this end on Sunday. So it's going to be a, a busy weekend for me, and it's, it's really nice. And I want to thank all of you. And I'm sorry I couldn't get to the comments at all today, but I promise you I will. There are some of you who have donated. Um, uh, I've, I've, I've got to figure out a way to do this better but all of y'all are very so supportive and i do thank you all very very much uh for doing this and one day i'm gonna do a marathon i'm gonna tell my moderators i'm gonna stay here until i get pooped okay and i can't read no more and i'll say that's it but i think i might do i think i might do a marathon just read 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 everybody and um and to stephen williams and them Stephen and Carol and all of them. And, and there's always a person that jumps on here first. I don't know how she do this. She must say, okay, where is it? Where is it? There she is right there. Melanated Brown, she's always the first one to come out the gate. I don't know how she does it. And I guess as soon as I post, she posts. But I thank everybody, everybody from the bottom of my heart that makes this a very successful show. And, and definitely my moderator Empress Rell on Wednesday and Jazz Aphrodite on Monday. So don't forget, I will have Jazz Aphrodite on Monday um, talking about her book. She's going to show it. I'm going to have mine. Um, and I see she's going to have to publish some more books. That's, that's all that is. Because I asked today, uh, does she have any more books I could buy? She's out already. So all of you got to place your orders on Monday when she comes on the air. And we'll do it from there. So, everybody, all right, thank you very, very much. Uh, I will stop um, running my mouth, uh, but I love this. Thank you very much. And, again, I must thank Jackie Berrios in Philadelphia that encouraged me to do this when she stuck the mic in my face and just said, talk. And I made a promise to her I would do it. I kept my promise. And it's now, I think, July will be going on three years. So I do thank all of you very, very much. In the meantime, y'all have a very nice day, a safe weekend. And for those in the Baltimore area, for those in the Brooklyn, New York City area, I will see you this weekend, live or on stream. Take care. Bye.